Hi, Don Campbell here, and I wanted to show you some of the changes that have been going on with Facebook and the way that you can create custom Facebook pages. You've probably heard about some of these, but what they've done is they've changed around the Facebook profile page a little bit, and they've changed the way that you can create your own custom tabs and how you manage those. So here's an example of a Facebook page where we've got a custom welcome tab, and we've got some content on there. Now, how do you do this? How do you add this kind of content to your Facebook page? Well, in the old way, um, you used to create it, grab an app from Facebook called the FBML app. And in, in this app, you could copy and paste some code into here. It was essentially like HTML code. So you could do images, you could do some videos. It was a little bit limited and you had to use their syntax for certain things. But you could make a custom page and it was fairly easy because all you had to do is paste some code in. Now, they've changed the way this works. And in the new way, they're using something called an iframe. Now, an iframe is essentially like a window uh, in, from that tab to another site that's hosted elsewhere, to a page that's hosted somewhere else. And when you go set this up, it's a little more complicated, uh, but it is much more powerful. What you have to do is go and actually set up a, an application and do some developer stuff um, to, to get that set up. And once you do that, though, you can bring content into your Facebook page tab. And um, you know the other, the other difference is that it has to be hosted somewhere, not on Facebook. So you're going to need to pull this content from your website um, and, and host the files there. So it's a little harder, but what I want to show you is we've done some things to make it a little bit easier to do this. Now, another thing that Facebook has done is they've moved the page tabs from the top uh, all the way over to the left. And that's kind of, uh, it's kind of a bummer because it's harder to see the custom tabs that you've developed. But it also presents an opportunity for us because once you load a page into this new iframe, you can actually do cool stuff with it. You can put your own navigation menu and now that shows along the top and it becomes almost like a primary navigation once somebody shows up there. So, you know, it's pretty nice. It's an opportunity for us to go in and create and manage our content on a Facebook page tab somewhere else. Now in this example, I'm managing all the content in WordPress and I can go in and modify this content on my WordPress site and it automatically reflects on my Facebook page. And I'll show you that how we did that in the next uh, in the next video in the series. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.